This is a fan-based non-profit game. In the year 20... 2000X, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Then Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. This intro seems familiar. The music seems interesting, though. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Oh yes, the music definitely does sound unusual. But this intro does seem very familiar! Now there's a reason for that! It's Mega Man 2! The Atari D-Made version! By Skipper the Super Gamer! Well... It's Mega Man 2, but, uh... You know, when you Skipper the Super Gamer is at the helm, you know things are gonna be pretty good. And yes, this is uh, designed to be a very Atari-like graphic style. And I think it already kind of gets there. Although, I kind of seriously doubt that the Atari would be as effective at rendering this. Actually, if I remember right, there is actually a Mega Man 2 Atari version. Like, a legit, real Atari version. But, uh, it didn't look all that great if I remember right. Well, we're gonna do Metal Man. Because we're doing Metal Man. <laughs> Why wouldn't we do Metal Man? Alright. <laughs> going in weakness order. And getting E tanks. Like I like that I like that menu screen better than the original Mega Man 2. Uh, Already some improvements for him, so. The music is an uh, attempt to do an Art Atari version of the Mega Man 2 music. It kind of feels kind of hollow to me, but eh, that's just how it is. Atari did not have the greatest of music rendering. You can already see that it's not like a straight copy of Mega Man 2. I mean, you can see the familiarity of it. Ah. All the similar elements are there. I don't think I'm really gonna be able to reach that life. But, uh, this design of the stage is a little bit different. But as for, uh, and, but, yeah, for the most part, you know, you're getting what you expect to get. Mega Man can't charge, Mega Man can't slide. All I can do is run, jump, and shoot. And change weapons when he gets them. But all the pickups are there, the extra lives, the health is yellow, represented in yellow, and the weapon energy is, uh, slightly flatter and, uh, still kind of clearly what it is. They have moles! They don't spawn so randomly in this hallway. Or this one. Also, I can't really, uh, hit them very quickly enough to grind on them. Which, I guess, is a trade-off for them being less of a hassle to deal with. Ah! But I can still get hit by them, because, you know, I'm not. I can get hit by just about anything. Hey, those little, uh, tin can columns don't throw their tin cans anymore. They seem less of a pain to deal with. Large energy recovery is, uh, less than it was. But still pretty good. I think the bars are the same length as they usually are. So, I'm not losing any health. Metal Man is super simple. Any lot 
Just fine against He's kind of got this tra very transparent thing going on. <sighs> so you can already see. I'm using a little bit more of it than, uh, than I wasn't. I would have in the original game. But I'm still eating frogs pretty quickly here. Oh, almost gave myself knocked into the waterfall. Yeah. We have drop platforms. They drop. What a shock. It's almost like they were designed to be what their, uh, what their name is. These crabs are as uh, annoying as usual. So I think we might have an energy balancer. Um, I think that's what that symbol might be. Oh yeah, I tried to fire straight up. I can't fire straight up. I can fire up at an angle. Well, I can fire down at an angle. It's still very it's still a very useful weapon, which is still why I went for it first. And now even though we didn't have to see a, even though you didn't see a splash, we are in fact underwater. With all the things that being underwater gives us. Like water figures. Oh, and these guys aren't as uh, vulnerable to Metal Blade anymore. Oh, but like I said, it's slightly less powerful. Hey, you notice something? There aren't spikes, like, literally everywhere. There's some spikes still, but there's not... It's not as spammy with the spikes as, uh, Mega Man 2 ones. That is a design improvement, in my opinion. It is very interesting that there's uh, things like uh, a lot of randomly spawning enemies are not randomly spawning anymore. I do kind of... I'm not... The first game system I hate the family ever owned was an Atron. But I uh, was way too young to uh, really play it or appreciate it. So I don't really know really how uh, limited or the Atari really was and what you could really do. I don't even remember what games we had. That's how young I was. Let's not use 
use all of this because I still do need it for bubble man. Alright. One thing is, there are no, uh, continuous screens, as far as I can tell. Oh, I guess these guys can spawn. Not randomly, but continuously. Which means I want to be careful not to get myself caught up right here. Unfortunately, they were nice enough to drop him. Alright. Bubble Man's weakness should be Metal Blade. Well, Metal Blade was good against, like, everything in the original game, but, uh, I think that was supposed to be Bubble Man's official, original weakness. Seems to be working pretty well. Let's give him a, at least a little bit of chance to show him some of this stuff off. Okay, <laughs> that's um, that's enough. And for that, we get the bubble lead. It's uh similar to what it was, except maybe slightly more powerful. And uh, that looks pretty good. So that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.